reaction uh, which is the produced by gas turbines. That's the example of Britain. It's a true gas turbine for, for 100 uh, megawatts. That uh, it has low investments, uh, high fuel costs, very fast start, uh, only a few minutes. Uh, we must uh, be, uh, we must depend that uh, on operational hours uh, that uh, we choose the right type of uh, apartment. Uh, that uh, this uh, diagram shows predictions uh, of uh, energy consumption for year uh, 2020. In 2020, the approximate uh, use, uh, usage will be 2,000 uh, gigawatt hours per year. That means we need uh, uh, 22,000, yeah, 20,000 uh, gigawatt hours per year. That means that we need uh, a new object uh, about 1,100 megawatts. That's a new power plant which is, uh, we must make it free. <laughs> so, well, we checked out all possibilities and did a little research. For solar energy, there are not enough sunny days in Slovenia and the efficiency is so low that we, have, we made a cal calculation for a 50 megawatt uh, facility, we would need 7.3 square green. Um, energy um, production possibility um, which is suitable for Slovenia because Slovenia is um, 56 in 56% covered with forests um, and this is the energy which could be used for um, electricity production and there is another option for scrapyard electricity facilities which use um, methane um, gas and but those uh, engines provide only low um, low powers like one megawatt. So it's an additional um, an additional facility. So we would say this is a partially appropriate um, option. And then the hydro energy um, power plant. Uh, it uh, it should be built in Kirchhoff. Uh, it uh, will have about 700 megawatts of electric energy and it will, the, the fuel is low cost and operation time will be about 50 years. And this is also a proper solution for our uh, Okay, on this slide you can see plans for future energy production. Uh, on the left we can see a pie chart um, for Slovenia. In 2010, um, we can see um, the energy shares in Slovenia, um, the nuclear power um, has the, uh, the biggest share, and the thermal energy and hydro energy have the equal share. Uh, our su solution or suggestion is to slightly increase uh, nuclear energy uh, and slight uh, decrease of thermal energy. Um, well, okay. Um, methods for energy usage uh, reduction, uh, the reorganization of prices, uh, the real time usage of production monitoring, uh, and determination of prices according to that. Uh, okay, founder in every household show the current price of electricity, electricity and estimated value for the next period of time. Uh, the result would be more constant usage and reduction of daily fees when the energy is expensive. Um, the second one is the right raising prices. Um, and the third one is the raising our awareness. To tell people, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, all. that's it for the first part. And Okay, so the team made um, a special design for Bestovia, the special vehicle. Um, so, and we're introducing now. So we made a special system, which is <coughs> the this is the uh, this is a cross section of the the van, and we will install this on the frame, and on the frame there will be this float. Um, when driving on the road, the floats will be on the roof, like 
the picture is shown. And then when um, the values come to the to the <coughs> water, those floats will come down um, and lock in position here. So that means um, it will float on river. It has ground clearance of um, 10 centimeters, so it will be available to um, drive in the water smoothly. And the, and the floats would be pulled back up with the electromotor and the pulley. So there would be the mechanic, mechanic part and this last part is there's enough place for passengers. <coughs> and this is what the floats would look like on the side. Uh, the drive, uh, the proportional, uh, it's proportional to water scooter that uh, with noodle drive. Uh, we used a uh, 2.3 multi-jet engine to run the pump uh, with additional uh, clutch. Uh, switching between uh, normal and uh, pump drive clutch. Uh, for the steering we used uh, uh, pumps and uh, muzzles uh, and additional control stick which controls the valves uh, to, uh, to open the right uh, nozzle and uh, the nozzle which uh, would uh, have uh, more water flow would uh, push uh, the whole vehicle to the one side. Yes. Um, <coughs> safety and comfort. Um, for heating system we use a uh, dark stop like other group. Um, for safety, uh, we can install a rescue jacket, uh, seat belts, and self-inflating safety boats. Um, for insulation, we um, we must improve the water and heat insulation, um, and we also install a safety cage for the <coughs> um, This uh, here we can see the total cost. Cost. Um, we think that, that this that this is very good um, price for uh, what we can uh, um, sell to you or what you can buy from us. Thanks for by forty percent from the whole energy to half of the distribution. And uh, how do you think the closure of first uh, one is going to affect this your your solution? Well, the closure will, will be in about 20 years from now, yeah. so we we'll already have another source of Actually, the thermal electric um, system would be kind of a background for the downtimes of this um, nuclear power. So when Kashko 1 will be um, closed, um, the thermal energy, which has the capacity of 120% of the total state um, consumption, could be started immediately. So, when the nuclear power of the sta uh, stops, um, the direct starts of um, the thermal um, energy would be available. You would put the hazard thermal. Uh, it's yeah. already in plan. In, in 2014, the the dish six block will drop. The first five blocks will be closed. Yeah. Yes. So it will yes. be replaced. Yeah. Okay. How do you think this is gonna impact the environment and pollution? Well, it's gonna have a positive effect because um, the thermal um, thermal energy will be decreased which is the most polluting way of producing electricity and the nuclear power will be um, will be increased which is kind of green with no um, CO2 emissions. Okay, as you put a question on the first part, I will have one small question on the second one. Although you did a really hands work here. Uh, I just wonder why did you decide for this shape of clothes as seen in this picture? Well the center of mass is um, mm -hmm. and the vanity is put forward so this part has to be a bit lower you see here mm -hmm. and they have to be aerodynamic 
I don't think it's necessary because these floats are put aside like this, and the center of mass is way on uh, on the low on the center. So it's even improved comparing to road um, road stability because tires are more close. So this triangle goes road triangle goes like this to the tires, and when floating, the triangle from the center of mass to um, the floats is more widely open. Just one uh, question about steering in water. Do you think this steering is sufficient or uh, would you consider a uh, secondary steering system? Yeah, we don't think any secondary would be needed because... Yeah, uh, control the stick. Yeah, the, I mean control sticks on the small control of these fins on floats are oh. predicted um, to to have the um, direction stability. Any other 